Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. The young and the restless, Summer and Claire clear the air, Phyllis offers to be there for Nick, and Daniel tells Heather that Sharon seems to blame him. Summer is startled to run into Claire in Chancellor Park. She explains that Harrison and Kyle are at the Dinosaur Museum. Summer notices she has a huge bag, and Claire explains it's a gift for their grandparents. Sitting on the bench, they try some small talk. It's all about Harrison and his drawing. When Summer asks to see the gift she got for their grandparents, Claire explains that she's legally changing her name. Even Cole thought it would make her feel like more a part of the family. The gift is to make it official. It's a family tree. Summer is sure that their grandparents will love it. Claire hopes so. She's never been part of anything like this before. Talk turns to Nikki offering Claire a job. Summer admits she hopes she won't take it. Claire wonders if that's because of what happened in the past, and swears she's not that person anymore. She can understand why Summer never trusted her or wanted her near Harrison. Summer explains that she doesn't want Claire to stop taking care of Harrison but says she should make the choice for her own reasons, not anyone else's. She admits that she's been difficult with her and hopes that won't affect her choices. Summer says that things are finally a little better with Kyle, although they'll always be complicated. Claire says she knows, she knows too much about the Newman family. That was part of her job. As much as Jordan taught her to resent them, she still wanted badly to be one of them, especially someone like Summer. She was everything she wasn't but wanted to be. Maybe that's why she's tried so hard to get her to like her. Laughing, Summer says it's nice to be an inspiration. Claire explains she hasn't accepted Nikki's job offer, but maybe down the road. Before Summer can go, they talk about Faith's accident. Finally, Summer admits to Claire that she's still getting used to them being family, but will get there. At Crimson Lights, Phyllis asks Nick how he's doing and says she and Summer are planning to visit Faith and Lucy. She explains that Lucy is an emotional mess, even if she's okay physically. This is all awkward for him, but she urges him to sit down and relax with her for a second. She's sure that this is weighing on him. Nick says he needs to stay strong for his daughter and stop himself from going to a dark place. When Phyllis asks who he has to lean on, he jokes he has a headboard. It was a scary night, but everyone will survive. His ex reminds him that he can always lean on her. They discuss how guilty Heather and Daniel must be feeling. Phyllis doesn't think they deserve any blame. He makes it clear that he's not blaming anyone. That's a relief to her. Phyllis is sure that Lucy will realize that actions have consequences. Nick admits that this is all dredging up the past. He's reminding himself that this is different, but it's hard not to go there. They know this is harder on Sharon, and Phyllis hopes this won't push her over the edge. As they discuss whether or not Sharon got her meds sorted out, Phyllis worries that there is something that Sharon is not dealing with. They debate what Nick should do about it. He refuses to cut and run, but she insists that it's not his place to ride in and save Sharon again. When Nick stands up, she apologizes if she's upset him, but says she will still worry about him. He's stuck with it. Once Nick's gone, Summer arrives. Her mom explains they will be giving the hospital crew a little time before they head over. Summer is sure that Sharon has been freaking out. Her mom doesn't think she had far to go. Phyllis is more concerned about Lucy and says they need to come together as a family to make sure this doesn't happen again. They are so lucky history didn't repeat itself. At home, Sharon argues with absent Cameron, telling him to stay away. She knows there is clearly blame to be assigned in what's happened. She jumps when Maria appears. She came by to get a change of clothes for Faith and asks her mom who she was just talking to so intensely. Sharon claims she's just been talking to herself and has been upset since she got the call about the accident. It sounds like a lot more than that to Maria. Her mom insists she was just venting alone at home and is embarrassed she heard it. As they discuss Faith, 
Sharon insists she has to be fine. Cameron appears in the corner and she stares at him. Her daughter notices this, but Sharon dismisses her concerns. When Maria tells her she's sure this situation is bringing up thoughts of Cassie, Sharon snaps and says that everyone keeps reminding her of that when she's trying to keep those thoughts out of her mind.